Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question. And the question is, what do you mean by class and object in C++? So this is a fresher interview question. And the answer is, class is user defined data type and object is an instance of class. So we will see what do I mean by user defined and the instance. Okay, first we'll talk about primitive data type. So as we all know, what do I mean by primitive data type? This is primitive data type, whatever C and C++ gives. Okay. So like character is also a primitive data type. Okay. You can just define anything in that. So this is also primitive data type like integer, float, character, double, all those things are primitive data type, which is already given in C and C++. But what if you want your own data type? Like you want to work on something which is not there in that C and C++, which is not readymently given by C and C++. Like we do lots of stuff, right? So C and C++ cannot give all the data types what you want because it's your requirement. You have to do your own study and come up with your own data type. So C++ and all other languages are giving a way to define your own data type, which is called user defined data type. Okay. And what is user defined data types? You can create using classes and structures. So I'll be taking this class as an example. So we all know what is rectangle. Rectangle has width and height. So we will set values and we'll get the area of that rectangle. So no need to write this one actually here. Okay. So this particular thing is your user defined data type. You have created a data type, which is rectangle. Its name is rectangle and it has parameters like width and height and it can do the operations like set values and you can get the area of rectangle okay so this is about user defined data type you might have understood it by now and uh, now we'll talk about the object what is object object is nothing but a variable like you create variable i is equal to zero right so this is called simple variable and when it comes to classes like this instead of primitive data type you write class name here like this and now this i has become object okay before this i was simple variable now this has become object okay so this is the only difference we call them variable in case of primitive data type like this integer and we call them object if it is class okay like this you you can just simply define it like this rectangle i and uh, here comes the real fun now you can set any value like set values. Let's say you want to set two and three. You have set it and let's say you want to print it like I dot area. Then you can just simply print also. So we'll just go ahead and compile that code. See the area is coming six. 